The problem is, if we click on these guys and we look at diplomacy, we're surrounded. <laughs> we can't possibly do it, you guys. Or can we? Yeah, we could go north and take more stuff. Let's do a straw pull. Uh, straw pull. Between this and starting Stellaris. Maybe, or something like that. Um, what do... Uh, continue Hoi 4. Um, take Scandinavia. Then maybe turn against Syndicalists. Or start Stellaris. Sentient Waffle Pirates. Uh, create Pole. Mm -mm. Vote here. Boom, boom, boom. Fate of the Netherlands. Great, but it... No, man. Eat it all. I don't care. Although it does drop some of our stability and things. Free military factories. Um, right, well, we need... Probably more Spart. Uh, the other thing we'll do is... Um, medium tank destroyers. We're actually going to start some of that. A little bit more of this. Um, and then we can switch some of our... We can add it to our infantry divisions or something. I think this game is basically done. I mean, we could push a little bit more, but... Shouldn't we just sit and be proud? about our achievement. I feel like... Here, I want to move my mouse somewhere where there is not a, uh, a UI. Pull is quite close. It's quite close with Stellaris. I, I think, you know what? I think we're going to say we are awesome. Belgium is the greatest. We have done what seemed to be very, very difficult. Now, if we could pull this off in the Villana, Vanilla, that would be even more impressive, perhaps. Although, I bet we could. I don't think Belgium has unique ideas, though. But the Netherlands, maybe we should do this. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's go and do it. Let's start some Stellaris. Bulgaria, yeah, here, Bulgaria and Greece. Either one of them are supposed to be insanely fun in Kaiserreich. And then I very nearly for this run uh, played one of the Indian nations. We still haven't played Syndicalist, so we could play as the Bharatiya over here. Um, although the, uh, the the Princely Federation is kind of fun. Um, and yeah, if, if we play Bulgaria or the Kingdom of Greece, I think like we've got options to go in like most directions, probably. Yeah, we could go like Syndicalist Bulgaria or something. I, I hear it's, it's great fun. So we'll see. Uh, Road to 56. One of the things I want to try is, um, is it Old World Blues? Is that what it's called? The, uh, Fallout, um, mod for Hoy. I wonder what that would be like. But yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. We'll do it. We'll do a save. Uh, live stream 03. Oops. Live stream 03. Just in case. But we'll wrap it up. We'll switch to stars. Boom. Yeah, Old War Blues. Yeah, I, I want, I want to try that. The, the Fallout version of this. So, um, we are going to what do some Stellaris. Difficulty Grand Admiral. I mean, it's going to be scaled, but we are going to go for Grand Admiral difficulty, because I think we did Admiral difficulty last time, and we, we smashed it. So we're going to go... Where's Stellaris on my list? We're going to go Grand, Ad Grand Admiral. But first, I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to get a soda. Everyone, um, while this is loading, everyone get up, stretch your legs, hydrate, but I'm, I'm going to get a quick beverage. Be right back.
Hawken Duckin. Stolaris. Boop. Um, Sidious, I like the idea of the three travel methods, although even before they made the change, I'd rapidly come to, to believe that, like, playing with the uh, hyperspace-only mode led to a lot more fun. So, I'm, I'm in favor of the hyperspace-only system, um, generally speaking, but it was very interesting. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Sentra bought this. It's just sparkling water with, like, it's soda water with, like, the slightest amount of orange flavor. Just the slightest amount. It says the ingredients are carbonated water and natural flavor. No sugar, no nothing. It's nice. I like it. Okay. So let's talk about what we're going to do. Um, earlier today, I actually, like, thought, because I, I thought about, oh, do we do the Star Trek mod? Do we not? Do we this? Do that? I don't think I want to do the Star Trek mod. Oh, those tempting. You like the blackberry and bubbly. Oh, we'll have to try it. Um, but if we didn't, we could do like, we could do like the Dominion, which is what I was thinking here. I mean, Spiritualist isn't exactly right, but sort of works. Uh, yeah, the Star Trek mod runs like, well, the problem is it's a massive galaxy. If you want to play the full Star Trek experience, it's a massive galaxy, so it does run slowly. Um, part of me still wonders, I was disappointed. I want to do a swarm that was on a life seeded planet and you can't do that. I'm very disappointed because I wanted to do a swarm where like they couldn't really live anywhere because with the, 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 the Zorg, the Zorg, uh, you know, they can only live with their creep is. So that was going to be guy in only worlds or something like that. Um, but yeah, these, I have a bunch of people like to, to sort of populate the galaxy to, cause it makes it more interesting. I mean, the feel the Brussels sprouts were like genetically modified Brussels sprouts. Um, there you go, the Sentient Waffle Irons. Because uh, we started a run, I think, as the Sentient Waffle Irons to try to get an achievement. And then I think I started in Scotland, then I, we moved back here, and then there's a bunch of things going on, and it sort of fell off. So we could try that again. Um, I want to look at global achievements. Global achievement stats. I want to look at achievements that not very many people have. That might be fun to do. Rogue Servitor. The retirement home, we could do that. Deus Vault, own four holy worlds. Like Char. The pacifist run was... I don't know which one of these it was. The pacifist run finished. I don't remember who we played as that. This is still one of my favorite jokes. Holy Romaine Empire. Make the Kerbal Empire. Uh... Suffer not the alien. As a xenophobic empire, purge all other sentient species from space. I kind of like that idea. Now, all other species... It has to be... It would have to be a purge. That'd be interesting. A moon-inspired race? Maybe. Uh, you... Have you done... I don't have a lot of hive mind runs. No. Not a little robot stuff. I don't know if I've done much in the way of hive mind stuff. We did it. We did one with the barbaric despoilers, and then we were forced in in a. Someone declared an ideology war for us, and we were like, and they were gonna kick our ass because we're a huge federation. So we're like, okay, we'll just do your, your ideology. And what it did is it disabled our ability to use despoil like, um, whatever barbaric despoilers. But it was still in the list. We couldn't remove it. Everyone still hated it because we were that, even though we couldn't actually use it. It was really annoying. Driven assimilators here. They're really OP. This patch. Invite everyone to your empire, then purge them all. Hive mind purgers. Yeah, I like my empire names. Excellent. We could play a hive mind purgers. Uh. All right. So that's not the same as a devouring swarm. Okay, hold on. Let's create a new empire for a sec. Uh, if we went to government ethics and the gestalt consciousness, hive mind. All non hive mind popsums, the assimilated, enslaved, or purged. Is there a set? Is, is the only option like regular hive mind versus devouring swarm? Xeno pops will always be eaten. Which should be the same, right? 
For Purge, I'm a fan of the normal Fanatic Exterminators. Oh, is that like Fanatic Xenophobes and then you've got... Fanatic Purifiers. Have to be Fanatic Xenophobes and then either Militarist or Spiritualist. I like Spiritualist, but I find I go it too often. Fanatic Purifiers. Society appears hellbent on scouring the galaxy of all other sapient life. If we play this on maximum difficulty... I've, ne I've never played this. Kind of like the idea. We can get Distinguished admiral Admirality for an extra 10% ship fire rate. I mean, obviously, you know, tech and various things might be good. I feel like life seated in a sense, white might make sense. On the other hand, if we're going war, 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 we're probably going to want to take the planets. I don't know. Not going to make any friends. I know, I'm really worried about that. Nationalistic zeal for less war exhaustion. Warrior culture, army, damage. Duelist turned alloy into unity. What do we get? Hey, I've never played this. Like, if we need a theme, I mean, yeah, we could go like sort of 40k-ish kind of stuff. We need, we need an empire name, a sort of theme. If you guys have an idea for another trait. Okay, we can come back to this. I mean, we could go humanoid type thing. We could make ourselves look like machines, even though we'll be kind of, we'll be biological effectively. We could do the thing where they're super cute but terrifying. Space orcs. Pure of a man. You know, again. A naval cap from entertaining warriors would be fun. Daleks make a lot of sense. Especially if we're not spiritualists, we can go like fairly cyborg-ish. Um, I'm trying to think of a robot I haven't really used. Maybe these guys? I mean, they look pretty evil. Pop growth, you're gonna need it. Yeah, the wasp robot, this one here? Yeah, it's pretty freaky. Okay, we'll need a species name. Sorry, did that make us a robot race? Oh, right, it's not just appearance. I forgot about that. It's whiskey and chocolate. Right, but we're not, we won't be a hive mind. Uh, Wheezy, hey, thank you very much. Hold on, where's my page? Oh, I think I closed it. Need to read the message. Yeah, I don't know if we want to be robots or biological. It's whiskey and chocolate. We're building things and whatever. It's more whiskey and chocolate. Okay, hold on. It's first Wheezy TV. Thank you very much. Hey, Quill, longtime fan. Love your content. Just want to give back a little for lots of hours of entertainment and let you know that you've helped me through a lot of rough times. Oh. I know what that's like, man. I've, the last couple of weeks have been really hard for me. I've, I finally bounced back, but man, oh man, I was in a bad way. Just for no real reason. Just, you know, one of those things that happens. Um... Are we ever going to see more KSP? Love you, cheers. Uh, well, first of all, KSP 2 has been announced, so yes. Uh, but most likely there'll be a regular run of KSP in the not-too-distant future, because now I have it in my head. Uh, and Orcrin comes in and says, Space Works, been a habit follower for a long time. Now it's time to put some money in the whiskey and chocolate fund. Thank you very much, Orcrin. Oh, man. Uh, vote biological. We could basically play Reapers. Couple of things back and forth. Yeah, all right, we'll go bio. Um, be like just really freaky looking. Yeah, orcs. There you go. We'll, we'll go with like space orcs, and we'll go to war. Here we'll be we'll be the quarks. Quark. 
quarks, the quill orcs, quarkian, the sporks. Need more Daka. Here, let's use these names. And yeah, if we're gonna be eating everyone else or killing everyone else, bonus to growth rate would be super handy. Let's be let's be rapid breeders. Um, feels like we should be quarrelsome. Although negative unity is kind of a suck. Whereas sedentary, if we've got rapid breeders, we may not need to migrate the same way. I don't know. Apparently, needs to be wah. Work, work. Repugnant. Sounds like okay, but the, it's not actually very helpful for us. We're not going to have slaves. Well, we could have inside of our empire. Some of our population could just be slaves. It's whiskey and chocolate. Migration is useless if you have no... Al well, yeah, but relocation... But yeah, you know what? Hold on. Wait a sec. Um... Yeah, the resettlement costs... Oh, well, so it might cost us more from time to time, but who cares? Name Moose! Hey, Name Moose! Have you considered a playthrough where you deliberately do the opposite of what chat wants? <laughs> I think people would figure it out pretty quick, though. Let's throw in sedentary. Um, yeah, uh, industrialist would be nice, but it's very expensive. We could grab one of the tech boosters. I do like experience gain. We could be, like, short-lived but have more XP. Oh, we only have one, one pick left. I mean, we could grab just strong. Yeah, let's go strong. I mean, thematically it fits. Done. Um, I want to come from like a dry planet, an arid world. What's our world name? Well, you're right. I did have more picks. We have two more. I'm saying deviants, okay. Government ethics attraction. I mean, then you get more, like, people of different factions. Hazroth! Orgrimmar! Oh, shit, I like it. Um, the star... So, Orgrimmar, right? Or is it Ogrimmar? I think it's Ogrimmar. I don't remember. Kalimdor. And there's an extra R. Orgrimmar. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Kalimdor. For the Horde! I don't know. But we're cool like Vanilla Horde. That's what we... Well, except for these guys are not. No, you know what they are? These are like the... Um, these are like the orcs that drank the demon blood. Right? This is the, the people who are like... Pouring through the dark portal and just like... Rah! Yeah, nice lead-in for classic WoW launch. I know, right? Um, yeah, Mammalian City is going to be fine. Add morality. Host apocalyptic. If we did nuke our world. All right, warrior culture done. We'll be imperial. That's gonna be fine. Blood court. Oh my god! What a great name. I love it. Zug zug. You see no scum. No. Only in battle can the true metal of any sentient organism be measured. Have a thief. I mean, we're also making maybe like Klingons in a way, but yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, just the Horde is kind of a lame name, right? Um, the Zug Zug Horde. The Keck Horde. Uh, the horse. The Quark Horg. Quark. Quark. Sorry. Slash spit. <laughs> uh, flag wise. Went something. Claws or. One of these pointy ones. There you go. Full of sharp bits. 
feel like this red isn't angry enough. Hey, maybe like this? Spikes are very hard. Yeah. No, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> the pointy red ones go faster. That's right. Um, I feel like we should have, like, blocky ships, like the mammalian ships over here. Just nice and blocky. Here. <laughs> Cordelia Mountain Batten. No. <laughs> the Habsburg! Oh my god, is this what our naming list is gonna be? That's really funny. That's actually super funny to me. <laughs> oh, I love it! That's right. I'm not changing the name list. This is what I'm going with. <laughs> Zug Habsburg. Okay, you're right. Hold on. <laughs> Love it. All right. This is us. Fanatic purifiers, warrior culture. We're fanatic xenophobes, militarists, rapid breeders, sedentary, and strong. Adjective? Oh, did I miss it? Quorkian? Quarkian. You're right. Thank you. All right, done. Um, F it, large, whatever, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go Grand Admiral difficulty with scaling turned on. Yeah, we don't have advanced neighbors, hopefully. Iron Man, sure. Caravaneers, honestly, I just find kind of annoying. I don't enjoy that feature, I'm gonna turn them off. So scaling difficulty means the AI starts on normal difficulty and then over time um, eventually reach actual Grand Admiral. That way they don't start off and just raffle stomp you from the start. Um, forearm Galaxy, Ring, Elliptical. I don't know, Forearm Galaxy. Let's get a few more Empires. Keep things interesting. We'll lower, like, we'll turn off any advanced starts, though. How's that? Crisis strength because difficulty doesn't make it harder. So you end up with an easy end game. Mm, okay. We'll bring it up to 1.5. I won't make it earlier though, because if I do, um, we'll hit Grand Admiral difficulty faster. Adjective should be quirky. Maybe. But it's going to be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I do like more wormholes and things. Um, especially if it's a larger galaxy. Where's that? Wormhole pairs. Let's have like... A little more. We'll keep the density the same. Uh, so that purifier is going to only kill caravaneers. Oh. I don't know. Then maybe we'll turn that on. Fewer planets for less micromanagement. That's not a terrible idea. We'll keep up the primitive civilizations and we'll just eat them. All right, let's do it. Your sure, planets will also keep the game running a little faster in the end because the AI will have fewer systems to manage. I've never tried with these settings, but I'm kind of curious to see how it is. Yeah. It's going to be more space, but we'll be able to move around faster because there's going to be more wormholes. I like it. In the eon since the first primitive quark communities took shape in the dry canyons and mesas of Orgrimmar, a 